Hello everybody! How you doing today? It is time for tip number six for our sleep re reset. I hope your day's going well. Our day's going pretty good. We're just in our groove and our schedule, working, taking a break from school, and um, it's going well. Got some business calls in between and some stuff going on. So anyway, it's just living life every day. It's everyday life. So I hope you guys are doing well today. And today we're gonna bring you sleep tip number six for our sleep reset. We've talked about a lot of things that you can do to get a good night's sleep. And today we're gonna to talk about another aspect of sleep and that's our sleep habits. And there's a really good sleep habit that a lot of successful people have and I want to know if you have it too. Um, you know, we can often think in our culture, sleep is often seen as a sign of weakness. We've, uh, you know, we're like, we should be able to muscle through, we should be able to work 12 and 14 hour days and not have to sleep eight hours of night. And you know, that if we're really strong, we'd be able to do all of that. But guess what? It's a complete facade. That is why we are in a major sleep, um, thing where we're not sleeping enough. I forgot, I forgot what I was gonna say, but anyway, a sleep crisis. So anyway, but there is one sleep habit that so many successful people have, and that includes Winston Churchill, Bill Clinton, John F. Kennedy, Yo-Yo Ma, Margaret Thatcher, Dalai Lama, Pope Francis. I mean, I could go down the list and name people after people after people after people that do this one sleep habit, and I'm wondering if you do it too. And believe it or not, the sleep habit that is going to make you learn faster, is going to make your memory recall faster, is gonna make you more creative, more rested. Believe it or not, it is taking a nap. Yes, that's right, taking a quick power nap is really good for your brain. And um, the reality is that a lot of colleges and universities and businesses are now starting to create these nap, let me, keep changing the light, sweetie. Just put it all the way up. Can you grab this and put it all the way up? Sorry, she's flipping the blinds and there's a car over there that's like blinding me. Anyway, sorry about that. So um, anyway, colleges and universal universities are now beginning to create sleep rooms where they are recognizing the importance of getting a good night's sleep. And um, so it's coming to be a really good and amazing thing so people can get healthy. Um, so what most people do is, you know, you're like, well, I can't sleep, I'm at work. Okay, here's one thing. If you can, go out to your car and rest for 20 minutes. Power napping is amazing. That's Winston Churchill started the concept of power napping. He was a believer in napping. He said, you should take off your clothes and get under the covers and take a nap. And you know, we don't have time to do that always in our busy lives now. Um, unless you set it aside. But um, one thing that I've heard that really helped me was a lot of successful businessmen also take naps. And I heard this story about one who's very highly su successful. And what he does every day is he lays down on his couch in his office and he holds his keys in his hand and he lets his hand hold rest over the side of the couch. And then he falls asleep. He closes his eyes until the time that his keys fall on the ground and then he knows that he's gone to sleep. You don't wanna go into too deep of sleep. You don't wanna go to like REM sleep or some other deep kind of sleep because then you're gonna wake up feeling groggy. But a short nap of 20 minutes is going to revise you. And it says also another thing about napping is the right side of your brain, the creative side, is actually working overtime when you're napping, which is a very good thing. It's gonna make you more creative as well. So. I hope that gives you a few thoughts about one way that you can kind of catch up on your sleep. They're saying that it can help make up in college students, particularly these studies they do on college students, it can help make up for the lack of sleep that they're getting at night. So, oh, <laughs> Melanie says, my husband is a pro power napper. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That's awesome, I could just picture KJ in there. Um, you know, my daughter says, how do you fall asleep in 20 minutes? And here's my, here's what I do is my trick. And I learned this when I was in like high school. Um, somebody told me is that you lay down, I lay down and I tell myself, Julie, this is the only time you have to sleep. So you're going to have to sleep. And I don't think about anything else. I just keep telling myself that over and over again. This is the only time you have to sleep. And before you know it, the alarm goes off and it's been 20 minutes and oh wow, you actually fell asleep. So anyway, make time, whether it's in your car, um, on your lunch break, or even in your office, lay down on the couch, or if you're at home, try to lay down and rest for 20 minutes. Maybe turn on a show for the kids and lay on the couch or something. Hey, Amy, oh yay, finally caught you live. Yes, yay, I'm happy about that. 
Um, so be sure that you get some rest today and try to take a nap if you can. It's going to make you better. It's going to give you a better edge. And you will be in the ranks of many, many famous and successful people who swear by taking a nap. And that is today's tip. <laughs> May your minds be fierce and your hearts brave and your spirits strong today. Hope you have an awesome day and I love you guys. Bye.